Hey fam! So I am here today with a different video. Some of you may already know that I had this YouTube channel for a few years but it was dormant. I wasn't using it and I dusted it off and after I started blogging with Life with Glory B, um, I decided you know what it's time for me to get back into this whole YouTube thing and so far it's been going well and I am so excited. I want to incorporate some of the things that I used to do previously when I started my YouTube channel and originally I started it to basically share my 4C hair journey and at that time I felt like if my hair was a enigma that I couldn't really quite understand I wanted to be natural but the thing is I was natural for some time but I had locks which were easy to me uh, but dealing with my own hair having to like comb it and brush it and twist it and try to get it to be defined was always a challenge for me but I've managed to um, I guess master my hair so it no longer defeats me but um, during that time one way for me to ignore my hair was to and I say ignore because that's what I wanted to do was to wear wigs and I created wigs I did a lot of wig reviews I had some companies who would send me wigs for review um, during that time so I've been looking at getting a curly wig and I want to have it with some color I was thinking blonde or something rich um, and bright for the summer so I bought this wig that is a synthetic wig it's not human hair and I'm going to try it on for you guys first time actually putting it on so I've prepped my hair I pulled it back you know my hair is just pulled back and then I put this stocking cap on so this is you know my hair you guys know what my hair looks like I have it pulled back I have two little braids in the back like single braids and then I just pulled on my stocking cap so to make it easy for me to put on the wig all right so I've lost my manners clearly welcome to those of you who are new and welcome back to those of you who are always here whenever I post a video thank you guys so much for joining me and for blessing me I love you guys for always clicking on my um, my videos and for commenting and liking and sharing um, I am so grateful for you guys and I am grateful that you who have chosen to actually click on this video um, on for checking out my channel for the very first time so if you are new here and you like what you're seeing so far if you are liking my vibe if I seem like someone that you can call fam and I love adding new family members I mean I feel like you guys are a community that make me feel like I'm at home so that's why I always like to say hey fam even on Instagram I feel like I've gained so many great solid friendships on there um, some that I've really grown into true friendships where some people even think that we are genuine like sisters so I feel like this this whole virtual um, world online world has been so good and it brings us all closer together this world is huge but with the internet we've made it so much smaller and I love that if you're new here please as I was saying if you like what you're seeing so far if you like my vibe please do subscribe I look forward to seeing you again and for continuing this journey with you guys all right so without further ado let me get into the video oh shoot I'm such a rambler by the way I'll be posting a video really soon I've been waist training um, a lot of you probably already know that I do um, workout sessions I'm a fitness instructor I tr used to um, be a fitness instructor many years ago I worked for Lucille Roberts here in the New York area for those who, who are in the East may have heard of Lucille Roberts before and I was an assistant manager and I also taught classes so here I am in COVID time I'm teaching classes online don't know how long that will go on for but hopefully forever even if it's on a shorter basis because I do work a nine-to-five um, or rather nine-to-six and I think we're planning to go back to work again really soon <sighs> I'm so not excited about that but anyhow I still plan to work out even if it's on weekends and um, whoever is working out with me on weekends I'm assuming will want to continue 
but we will play it by ear and see where that goes. So I've been waist training and I plan to show you guys what my waist looked like before and what it looks like after training, waist training for four weeks. So I started to document it. Um, today is my second week, I think, of waist training and I still have on my waist trainer. So I'll show you guys. Yeah, so I keep it on um, during the day. It's been helping me a lot with my, my back pain it helps me to keep my back in alignment and supports my back so it's not just um working on making my waist smaller it's also helping me to maintain a better posture okay so back to what i came here for <laughs> the wig so the wig came in this um package i don't remember the exact name of the um, company that i purchased it from but the wig was not expensive at all I think it was less than $20 or just about $20 I had taken it out of the package to take a look at what it looked like of course since I got it but I never actually put it on let me show you what it came with it has a what looks like a wig cap and it didn't that's how I didn't actually look at it I opened it up took a look at the color and that was it has these what looks like tattoos or something um, again, I said a wig, wig cap and it looks like it's in a, a brown color, very deep brown, but I have on a lighter color. And there's one more thing in the bag, which is a pair of hoop earrings, which I am very excited for because I love hoops. In fact, you know what? I'm going to put them on right now so you guys can see what they look like. I love a pair of hoops. Thank you for the little gifts. <laughs> if nothing else, <laughs> if I don't like the wig, at least I like the earrings, right? All right so let's get into this wiggy. <laughs> it is a very bright color. I will make sure to leave the specs about this wig on the screen or in the description because I don't recall it out of my head. Um, it's, it has, um, what you call this, a net around it. On the inside, a piece of paper. This is what the inside looks like. So it has like these two, I guess, clips or something that you can clip at the sides to make it smaller or bigger. Nothing else, nothing else holds it. So let us see. I so looking at it, I feel like this must be the back. I hope I'm putting it on right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, and it has two combs. Oh, hope you guys can see good. Yes, one there, one at the side. I actually had to step away for a minute. <laughs> so I took my wig cap off. Oh, putting it back on for you guys. been so long since I've put on a wig. Ugh. I don't remember how to do it. It's pretty tight. Then again, I have a lot of hair on my head. So I am not... Let me see if I can put those clips in. So this is the wig, your first impressions, guys. <laughs> what do you think? I haven't done anything with it. I haven't played around with it. I haven't tried to cut it. I haven't tried to do a thing. I just put it on. All right, so it's a little tight for me. So I think I may have to take it back off and adjust those straps. But already looking at it, I think it's something that I could work with. Let me push my wig cap back a little bit. I might need to cut the hair that is framing my face. For someone who has like a very, um, push this one back too, who has a more or less a, a higher forehead, I think they would manage this way better than me because they would have the ability to keep these bangs a lot longer 
Me on the other hand, not so much. I really like how it's looking though and I love it. I'm loving, loving the color on me. All right. I don't know if I was in the frame just now. Actually, I'm looking in my mirror behind me. All right. For me to get to this hair properly, I need to take my shirt off. You guys can't see a thing below there. <laughs> I have a brown. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut here, fluff it out a bit to see what it will look like. I fluff it, fluff it, fluff it. I love big hair. So first off, I don't know how the top's looking in the center, but you guys can see a little better than me. The hair is blocking my eyes. All right, so let me find a scissors. I will start to chop away at this hair. So I really can't see the back so well. I'm really guessing here, guys. <laughs> I would normally suggest filming this, um, doing this off camera, so that you can probably be sure of what you're doing. Maybe find a good mirror or two, so you can see the back and the front. coming together it is coming together <laughs> ah, so if you like big hair grab yourself one of these wigs I honestly don't know what the back is looking like I have to go find me Another mirror. Actually, I have a mirror right here, a second mirror. I can look and see the back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me what you think so far. What do you think so far? And I don't even have those clips in like, like stuck into my head, but it is so snug that I really don't need them. Big hair and don't care. Oh, my earrings just did. <sighs> hmm. I think I found me my new toy for a couple of days. I can actually wear this a few times and get away with it. I mean, you can tell it's not my natural hair, right? But it doesn't look bad. If I want to give it like a look like if it's on the side, on one side more than the other. <laughs> this is a lot of hair. <laughs> this is a lot of hair, oh my God. Seems fine in the back to me. I didn't do anything else to this wig but use my fingers to play with it and you guys see the results. Based upon the money that I spent for this wig and the way it looks, I would give this wig a 5 out of 5. <laughs> I really like how it looks and I think the color really suits my complexion. It's a look. It's a look. I'm gonna take a few photos and um, yeah I'm gonna take a few photos I don't know if you guys are into big hair but if you're into big hair 
get this wig. I'm going to try to make sure I get you the link and leave it below and give you all of the specs about the hair. I know they had different colors and I believe that. At first I was thinking I was going to go with a more blonde color but I thought that this honey you know bronzy color would suit my complexion and I think you guys would agree as well. I like the fact that I can see my ears. I like to pull my hair back from and see my ears. I don't like it all down on my ears. And I feel like if I took some hair clips and like pin some of it up, it will stay behind my ears. So I might do that as well. All right, I'm gonna keep this on for the day. Get used to it. Guys, get used to me in this wig too. <laughs> I to think this was just a test. <sighs> I plan to get a human hair, a human hair wig. And I want to color it so this is the color I'm going for and it's going to be a curly wig because I'm not trying to color my hair with these dyes where I bleach have to bleach my hair out mm -mm. anything I use it has to be it has to be a natural uh, plant-based product and I actually dyed my hair with a black dye a henna dye from what's it called bright natural I think anyway I actually posted um, something about that dye in Instagram and the only reason I accepted the the brands request was because it was a natural um, plant-based product because i'm not interested in putting any chemicals in my hair right this minute no anyway thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you guys want to see me do more uh, wig reviews um because i think if i can buy a wig for about 20 dollars i would definitely try it out so it has to be within that range um until I'm ready to buy the actual human hair one, which is eyeing right now one that costs about $400 or something like that. And it has a very similar shape. So this is the reason why I ended up buying this one. Cause this gives me a chance to test out what I'm looking for before I spend all that money on that wig. Um, and I'm not too sure if it's really what I want. And now this brings me closer to a final decision. All right, my loves, don't forget to thumbs up the video leave your comments i love to hear from you guys look forward to seeing you in my next video yeah i'm not sure what my other video is going to be about but it may be me giving you the update on my waist training or it may just be a vlog because i need to do a what i eat in a day and then i'm traveling next weekend so it could be a vlog which um, is from me packing or preparing for that trip but whatever it is just know your girl is going to try to get you a video next week Okay, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, whatever day I decide to post it. But yes, one video coming to you every week and maybe more if I have more content for you. Thank you guys so much. I love you and I promise to see you again in my next video. Bye. the better, at least in this case. <laughs>